Tyler, I'm live from the attic. Uh, it's nighttime. Are, are you, you on? Are you, you're at, not on live though. You're not on Facebook Live or Instagram Live. You know, it's funny. We um, we could go live right now. If you nah, to. that's not. Let's let's be. Uh, <laughs> that's that's not. It's just. Uh, but we're also here with no. Tracy Yatsko from Ooh. PBS. Thirty-nine, Yay. Tracy. Thanks for coming on. What's up, gentlemen? You've been on assignment all day, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. We're not going to talk to you about the news. I'm sure you've, uh, and you're not going to learn anything from us. We're not the <laughs> experts that you are, are accustomed to talking to. Yeah. How have you been handling the last couple weeks, the last couple days? You know, especially somebody that's, you know, put, you got to put on a face. You, you, you got, you're the, you're our. Uh, you're our kind of face between what the experts are saying and what we're kind of uh, hearing. So yeah, how's that been going? It's really interesting because again, this is new for everyone and I'm a human before I'm a journalist. A jur- mm-hmm. being, being a journalist is my job. And so I'm affected just like everyone. And yep. so what I've learned this past week and, and I'm very authentic about my mental health issues because of my brain injury And so last week I was just, you know, working in news and news is updating literally every 30 seconds. Yeah. And so it's like this balance of, you know, keeping a a calming voice of Mm -hmm. getting all of this information thrown at you. Um, And my, my first week I struggled. I really struggled last week and was just having anxiety attacks at night, was crying hysterically, like my sister's a nurse, my mom's at risk. So I'm a human. And so I'm experiencing this shift too. And I was just really struggling. But luckily, especially at PBS, and you know this, I get to tell stories of love. And I get to do features. So I really don't have to, I'm, I'm finding the balance of understanding the news that I need to know, and then shifting gears and just reaching out to people in the community who are just dope humans. Right. So right. finding that balance and also really just understanding I've been, I've personally been through worse and I recovered and I was healed. So this is just another episode that I'm yeah. going to get through. So yeah. I'm doing good now. Last good. week, different story. <laughs> yeah. I think we're probably, I mean, we're probably all going to go on this roller coaster of emotions. Like we're going to have ups and downs and hopefully other people are having ups while you're having downs and you could have your ups while they're down. It's going to pro- probably be a lot of leaning on everybody. Absolutely. You know, emotionally, but uh, it's good to hear that you're doing well. It's yeah. just been like, you know, I think the, the key is, and I, I, me and George talked about it. Like I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm at home. Uh, I'm relatively safe. Like I don't need to be on the news, like watching news 24 hours a day. It's just going to freak me out. So you got to find these other things to do where you're not, you know, when this is all over that you're not like, man, I could have done more, right. You have this time to do the things that you've been waiting to do, yeah. right. Like you can write the journal entries, this book, whatever you want to do. So I've, I've, but it's, I've, it's, I've it's crazy, man. I'm having a hard time. I'll be honest. I've had a couple of friends complain. I mean, I, I've not, Everyone has a right to complain about everything at this point, but yeah. they're like, "Man, I'm really bored." I'm like, "How?" I, I mean, I get it, but there's there's so many options now. It's crazy. Like, I feel like during this whole period, I've been more busy than yeah. than regular. Yeah. <laughs> For yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, That's I'm being thing. intentionally busy to keep my mind off of it, but also understanding like we're all going to be struggling. So do find what you love. Mm -hmm. Start FaceTiming your mom. Like I'm connecting with my family again, like I've never connected before. And I'm connecting with my friends who I, it's just been a while. And it's like, it's showing us the importance of life and how we should be appreciating every little thing about life. And that's beautiful. Yeah. I hope, you know, I was thinking about that too. Like if there's this, you know, everybody's looking for like silver linings right now. Like, Mm -hmm. and I don't know if even that's appropriate, but you got to like find something to, and like, I I hope I'm going to, I I feel like I'll be a different person after it's all done. Like I'll, yeah. like I've been talking to my friends more. Like we talk, like we're not just like in the same room looking at, you know, sportscenter.com. You know what yeah. I mean? We're like yeah. we're talking to each other. Like, I can, yeah. you know, well, Tyler, was, Tyler, you made a really good point the other day. I know it was like a joke, but it was, it made a lot of sense. You're like, we're, we are looking at each other more in the face 
now yeah. than if we were in the same room because yeah. we'd all be on our phones. Absolutely. So no, this is fantastic. We yeah. had uh, like we, we talked to some of my family call. members last night. Yeah, we're gonna do another. We want to do another big uh, call and have a lot more. We people did this on big Facebook. like Zoom conference call with all of our friends and like there's probably you know 20 people on the screen and we're like looking at each other. That's never happened, right? That's like beautiful. ever, ever, right? Yeah. Even at parties, like you'll like go over and get a drink and you'll see somebody, but you'll be texting anyway. So yeah. that's the first time we like interacted like that in our yeah. entire lives. So and conversations are shifting. I mean, it you're really not having surface level conversations anymore. We are having real life, like, yo, you doing okay? How, mm -hmm. how are you coping through this? Like we're having beautiful human connection moments that we just haven't really been having. Yeah, so that's for cool. sure. For sure. I, I mean, ho hopefully that's something that continues, you know, when we're on the other end of this, which I hope, I mean, I just, it, I just think it's, a, it's, it's, we're all struggling to like, see the light at the end of the tunnel you know and like well it's just, there's so much uncertainty and people are getting restless like again we talked about anybody with a small bit anybody when when there's no resolution when you don't know if this is going to go on another four weeks you start to get really worried and you know if we knew it was next monday then at least there's something to look forward to right yeah yeah for sure but Tracy, more about you real quick. Um, have you been working from home? Like what if, what's a typical day for you now? Dude, it's so weird. And, and I'm totally understanding the balance of like having a routine. So don't roll out of bed and go to work. Like I still shower. Mm -hmm. um, it's cool because I'm totally rocking my sweats. So like I can do an interview and put a nice top on, but I'm still rocking my sweats on the bottom. Yeah. Um, so that's cool. I'm not, I don't have to really dress professionally nice because you know me I'm an athlete so I don't like that <laughs> stuff anyway um so that's interesting um but no just shifting from instead of going out in the community doing interviews recording people on zoom and just teaching mm. people you know how the, the process works and I did a story last week where I, I literally did not leave my house I it was it's just really wild the shift of newsrooms and journalism and, and storytelling and it's just all based on this computer right in front of me, which is yeah. really wild. Yeah, that's that's. It's amazing really cool. what. It's amazing, um, you know how people they always try to get somebody else to fix their phone. Sometimes you know people like that. It, it's amazing to find them really quickly figure out how to do this stuff when they need to do it. You know, they yeah. they want to talk to people, so they're figuring out real quick how to figure out these apps. Like we're, so we're I having, just got a text from I have a bunch of group texts. This is probably unironic. He goes, it's about my friend, I won't say his name. He said, so how is everybody getting haircuts now? Which is probably an unironic. That's going to be another issue. Like we're all going to come out of this looking like. like At least you don't have to be on TV. <laughs> That's true. You we do keep it. it what you, we have to be on TV. What are you talking about? We have a TV show. Tracy. Nobody oh. expecting too much oh, out yeah. of us. Right. My, bad. my bad. Right. Maybe. Are... Maybe. Maybe people watch your show, but we still have one. <laughs> yeah, but you can throw on a uh, beanie. You good. Yeah, we're fine. I know. We're good. So um, we have like a minute left. I want to make sure that everybody can follow you and find out more about you. So where can they, where do you, where can they find out more about you? Um, you know, the huge social media, Facebook, Instagram, Tracy Yasko. And can I just give a message of love and hope? Yes, please. Because it would it would be wrong of me not to. So I had a very dark past with living with a brain injury at 17 years old. And I lived in a dark room, quite literally dark sheets over the windows. The light made me sick. I was very sick and traumatized and just suicidal thoughts for years. And so we are going to go through a dark time. And and it's, it's going to be hard to find the light at the end of the tunnel, but it's there. And we are all going to get through this. I've been through an atmospheric shift before, quite literally. Um, and this is happening again. So when you're struggling to find that light, mm -hmm. I promise you that it's there. And just lean on people. Like, we're here to love. We're here to connect. No, we're yeah. going to be okay. Awesome. We'll get through right. it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna right. need to, I might need to record that and play it every morning. We'll, we'll have it. I'll, I'll have it up. Hey, hopefully we can talk to you again sometime. Yes. Good luck. Stay healthy too. You know, be I careful will. out there. And thank you for doing what you're doing. There you yeah, go. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, Tracy. Bye, guys. See ya. Yeah.